Welcome to the second tutorial about GameWave. So in this tutorial, we're going to configure uh, a control scheme for Amnesia The Dark Descent to be able to play it only with our hands. So I've got an empty GameWave document open here. Um, and I will go to Steam and launch Amnesia. So usually when a game starts up, you've got a window that appears like this that allows you to configure the graphic options. Um, when you m set up a mapping like this, it's usually easier to not play this, the game in full screen. So to play it in a window mode so that you can easily switch between game wave and the game in question. So let's start uh, Amnesia like this. Move the windows around a little bit. I'm going to close Steam here. Move this to the bottom right. And then since the game is going to be here at the top right, I'm going to change the position of the notifications to just not have them in the way. And so the Game Waves HUD notifications, I will put them in the bottom middle so that when so that they're at the bottom there, so not really inside of the game, I'm a little bit out of the way. So this is Amnesia when it's starting up. So basically when you get outside of Amnesia, it pauses automatically. Um, so the first thing in Amnesia is I want to set up the mouse pointer so that I can select something. So let's do that. So I've got GameWave here open with an empty document. Let's give it a name first. So it's named Untitled and this is going to be Amnesia, of course. Uh, and I want to, to actually use my right hand to continuously control the camera and move and my left hand for uh, uh, actions and triggers. So I always want to default to steering mode. That's why I click on it so that it's the default. And then when I move my upwards and downwards, I want it to be like a mouse and I want to actually perform a mouse movement. So move downwards becomes also mouse move down. Same for leftward and rightward. So now let's change the speed uh, of the up down movement. So then it's slower, the same for left right, but I'm not going to make them the same uh, because I usually want to move quicker left and right than up and down. And I'm going to increase my rest area so that I've got a, a more stable center, center area to actually work with. Um, and since this is a mouse, I can actually try it out outside of the game already. So if I've got it here, I can, I can, I can try it like this. Um, and while we're at it, because I will have to make selections, let's, let's set up uh, the left hand also. So which defaults to trigger mode, which is fine. And I want uh, to have access to a left mouse click. Uh, and for this game, I like to actually open my hand with all the fingers open. And then when, so all the fingers open here. And when I make a left circle gesture, I want to do a mouse click left. So mouse click left. There we go. Um, and let's go to Amnesia and see what, what happens here. So I've got my mouse, it allows me to steer. So I'm going to select here, mouse click left, continue, mouse click left, play previous game. Yes, now we go. The game is starting. So now I can, I can look around in Amnesia, um, but I can't move. So let's set that up now. So, um, I want to move when I move my hand forwards and backwards, my right hand, the same one that I'm using the camera with. So this is by default uh, always set to gamepad mode, which is, a, is exactly what I want, meaning that if I move away from my stabilized center position, uh, it will provide a movement. So if you go to Amnesia, uh, and go to the options. You can usually have this. You have this in every game. You go to the input input section. You've got a configuration section for the key inputs, which clearly shows you which keys it's expecting for different actions. In this case, I want to move forward and backward. So, which is a W S pretty standard uh, scheme. Um, so, when I move forward like a gamepad, I want to move like a gamepad, and I'm going to tie a key press to it and then press on the keyboard what I want it to bind to. So that's that's done. Um, let's now already uh, try this out. 
So um, actually, let's set up a swipe up with my left hand to be the escape key because I need that quite often uh, inside Amnesia to uh, jump out of the menus. So I can put my left hand here and then do swipe up to escape out of it. There you go. And now I can move forward to actually move. And I can already start moving around the game. So that's great. Now what I want to do next is actually being able to pick up items. So when I'm here, um, going to this library, I want to be able to pick this up. Uh, so how do I do this? Uh, let's go. So let's go back to menu so that I'm pausing Amnesia. So when I close my right hand, I actually want to click with the left mouse button and keep the mouse button uh, pressed while it's closed. And at the same time now, one thing to a side note, um, Game Wave determines the openness of your hand by the number of fingers that it's seeing. Um, I'm going to be tying the finger tap to something later. So, uh, and finger tap mostly uh, works best when your middle ring and pinky are together so that you can tap with uh, your index and with your thumb. So, to make the hand openness more reliable like this, it's best to set the fingers for open hand to two in that situation. And let's already tie tie the finger tap to jump. Um, it's going to be that. So key press, space bar. So that's that. And let's go back to Amnesia. Um, so now I can I can go here. And I can pick this book up and I can move around with it. That's cool. So this this to me feels very natural. Um, you can because it's basically mimicking exactly what I'm doing here. So let's exit out of it again. Let's go to the to the options actually. Um, here options key input key config. Let's see what else we can configure here. So we've got run, crouch, and jump, uh, which are movement actions. So I should be able to do that with my right hand. Um, so let's let's set these up. So what I like to do with my right hand here, <laughs> so I, I moved out of the way and I kind of activated some, some Windows gestures here. Um, so when I move my hand, in, when I incline it upwards, I want to run. It's like say, okay, accelerate. And when I incline it downwards, I want to crouch. Additionally, sometimes it is a little bit difficult to incline downwards. Um, I want to tie a left hand uh, trigger to it. So if I swipe down with my left hand, then I actually want to crouch. So let's set that up. So what was it? Um, Run is shift, crouch is control. We already mapped jump. Um, so let's set up run and crouch. So incline upwards is going to be shift to run. So I press the shift modifier action and I said it's only had, it only has to be the modifier key with no other key. So that's that. Downward is going to be control, control modifier key. And then trigger mode of the left hand, when I'm swiping down, I want to crouch also. So this is going to be control like that. So um, additionally, one thing that is uh, important when you're playing a game like this and also for any kind of mouse control, um, with a traditional mouse, you can pick it up and you can place it elsewhere and then pick it and put it down again uh, so that you can get to a more comfortable position, which is uh, something that you need and you can do that in Game Wave. I like to uh, you do that by inclining my hand outward, so incline hand outward, and I want to reposition it in that case, so the reposition action. Meaning that when I'm moving my mouse and I'm inclining outward, it's actually very similar to picking up the mouse in real life. Um, so let's go back to Amnesia. So I'm back in the game. If I can tap to jump. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, I can 
inclined downwards to crouch. And when I incline upwards, I'm walking faster. It's not that obvious in Amnesia. But you can see it. So, that's that. What else do we have? Let's go back to the configuration here. So most of these I don't really need. Let's go to actions. I actually need a right mouse click to be able to throw stuff. And I have to be able to turn on my lantern. So let's do that. So the right mouse click. Um, since I already have left mouse to a circular left gesture on my on, on my left hand. I'm going to make the circular right gesture be the right mouse click. And then to turn on the lantern, let's swipe left with one finger. So let's see what that looks like in uh, Amnesia. So let's swipe left and I'm turning on the lantern. So that's that. Now I can... Where is that book? Let's see if I can pick it up again. So I can go pick up that book here. There it is. And when I'm now doing a left gesture, I'm throwing it away. So that works fine. Let's go back to the configuration here. And see what's left. I've got the miscellaneous actions that I haven't configured yet. And so I've got the inventory journal, mementos, and open recent text. And so I'm going to tie this to uh, two finger swipes on my left hand. So swipe up is going to be my inventory. It's going to be tap. Swipe down is going to be my journal. It's J. Swipe left is going to be the mementos. And swipe right is going to be recent message. So um, I think we're roughly done with our um, amnesia configuration. One thing you can do is go to document settings uh, and pick a background image. Um, let's take this for example. And now you actually have the atmosphere of the game here. And then you can save it, save it, putting it on the desktop here. Let's name it Amnesia. <laughs> there you go. So, let's go back to the game. And now I can actually play it. So you've got a door of it. Have I got a door here? Let's turn on the lantern so I can see something. So I can light these here with my tinder boxes. Open the door. And kind of explore like this. So, well, thanks for watching and um, <laughs> see you next time. Bye.